I live in the coldest city on earth, Yakutsk. And today uh, I will show you what I usually wear to keep myself warm even at uh, minus 171 degrees. Meet my sister Diana. Wait, what? It's minus 50 degrees and she wants to go outside. But she also wants to look good. And here is how we do this in Yakutsk. It's Wait, an absolute must 71? to wear several layers of clothing underneath, such as woolen leggings, since the knees are particularly Wait, prone wind, to we, we can get like minus 40s cold. at most. Diana also wears 71? fleece sweater and wetted pants, but it's difficult to look very feminine in them. For the boots, Diana wears warm socks along with fur boots made of reindeer skin. This is Yakutian handmade traditional boots. There are different types of these shoes with different beaded patterns. So, women in Yakutia usually have two looks. One is more feminine with fur coats made of mink or fox. Another one is more casual with a down jackets which keep you very warm and they are cheaper than a fur coat. At the same time, these are sick, Chad. These are getting more, more, these got more popular not long ago. The, these uh, inner fucking pocket juicer, these are wicked. I love these pockets. Coat. At the same time, she still wear fur hats since knitted ones are just not warm enough for a local winter. The fur hat is made of arctic fox. In addition to covering her hat, she also wears mittens with beaded Yakutian patterns and fully covers her face, otherwise the exposed parts can get frostbite. Yeah, no shit. So now you have a rough idea what we usually wear in Yakutia to keep ourselves warm. And now my sister is going to the coldest open air market in the world where X2C the meat L. and fish remain naturally frozen. X2C where the sellers L. are working whole day even when the temperatures goes down to minus 50 degrees Celsius. Ah, uh, как вы долго стоите на улице? на улице. Или ляжете на голова руку до голла. Еще раз попробуйте. Как вы одеваетесь вообще? Как вы продаёте? Ну вот так одеваете. Вот так и продаёте. Да это не говорима на что раз блин, да, это не дай. А то ты мне, конечно, там вот и тебе хаюк, ты чё? Ага. У вас это хаюк, да, видите. Ага. А мы ты мне кто? Ча, а на тему мой мой toes get always so frozen, dude. I need, a, because I need it to be a boot technology that has a, like a, a pad at the at the ending, right? With batteries in it, and you can you, like boom. You charge your boots. You go outside. Boom. They exist. It's not bad circulation. Is that a long time ago? I had frostbite on both my my thumbs, my feet thumbs, the feet thumb, both of them got really fucking frozen, right? I'm getting one of the so so weird today, right? And um, yeah, yeah, my big toes, and then now the the circulation is all fucked up in it in both my toes, the big ones. And they, they don't do so well with, with cold. Now they get they frostbite really easily. It's not a fake story. In January, the mean temperature hovers around minus 50 degrees, but days in the negative 70 degrees are not unheard of. At this level of coldness, it's best not to wear glasses. Okay, I thought this was story, okay? So, so when I was, when I was kid, uh, uh, it was, it was a, a, school day, a school day where we, we don't go to school, we go do an activity, and then we went to go skiing, okay? We went to go skiing. And, and, and I went with my brother, and I did my first backflip, it was cool, it was insane. But then, uh, I, I would stay out for a long time, so my, my, my feet got really fucking cold, right? Crazy cold. But I really wanted to do the backflip, so we stayed out, and then went inside of the, the, the cottage, right? Where the, 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 when you ski, you stop, and you go to eat. And we got there, dude, and I told my brother, brother, I don't feel my fucking, my, my toe at all. I, I can't feel it at all. So we, I rush inside, I get it out, dude, and I'm telling you, dude, I'm telling you, dude, I'm telling you. My toe, I couldn't feel it whatso fucking ever. It was completely frozen, okay? And I got scared they were going to have to cut it, right? But it wasn't that, I, I think they only cut when it's like black or whatever, but it wasn't black at all. It was just kind of like white, right? It was kind of white, the, the whole toe. I got so scared in front of all my friends, the whole school, dude. I put my boots and I went like this. I went like this. And I did. 
I just put my fucking toe at the back of my mouth, dude, and I went, right? And I get you that push air and push warm saliva on it, dude, so it would warm faster, so then they had to cut it. And I got so scared, I was like, I, and then, I did, I'm telling you, it took a long time. It took like five minutes of fucking, of fucking a toe eating, okay? And then, finally, I started feeling it, right? And I was like, oh man, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling. And then, it, the pain kicked in. Dude, it's like, it's like when, if you close your eyes and you, and you just feel, right, what it feels like, it felt like my toe was a big tube of like lava from the fucking Mordor, dude, right? And it felt like it was pushing it, like hot pushing lava in the tube. It felt like uh, like you're burning, but inside, and it was radiating. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, eee! right? But then, um, but then it, it got unfrozen, and then it got better, right? But now my toe isn't as good uh, uh, to do that. And since since my circulation is now not as good anymore with the toe. Right? I went to a club one time and everybody had boots, it was very frozen, and I forgot my boots. So I went to the club and there was a big ass fucking queue outside, right? And I was sitting in puddles of water in the middle of winter, right? With my shoes, my, my skateboarding shoes that had holes in them. And my, my toes were in the fucking frozen water, right? In queue for the fucking club for like 35 minutes, motherfucker. And the same thing happened. I rushed to the bathroom, I skipped the fucking the coat check. I hit into the bathroom, dude, and I did the same thing. I put it, and I went, and I just said, fuck it, dude, fuck it, fuck it, I, I don't give a shit. And I got seriously gonna lose my fucking thumb, right? my, my, my toe thumb. And I was wearing the fuck of my thumb, and I said it for so long, making such weird noises, that some guy called the fucking security on me, right? And the club bouncer was like, bang, bang, bang. Are you done? I was like, he's like, bang, bang, what are you doing now? Are you done? I'm like, my toe is frozen. <laughs> Whatever, dude, I'm done, I'm done. This outside, the metal freezes and stick to your face, making it difficult to remove your glasses without tearing off chunks of cheek. Five to ten minutes in the fresh air can be enough to cause fatigue, stinging pain in the face and long-lasting aches in the fingers and toes. Twenty minutes is the point at which even the most harder Yakutsk residents thinks it's time to go indoors. Fortunately, Yakutsk has a decent public transport system that functions even in extreme cold. People travel to work and school by bus. Those who own cars park their vehicles in heated garage with a blanket wrapped around the battery. Even they drive, they keep their engine running all day and of course, the right clothing is crucial. For maximum worms, it's all about fur. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it. And my sister and the cameraman were super cold while yeah, they were doing this video. Day. So I give them a like. And uh, let me know what you are interested in, what kind of topics you are interested in, and if you have any questions. That was kind of cool. I, I, I enjoyed that video, dude. That was pretty nice.